section 2.6 so integer data types all right so uh we've seen i mean with what we've been doing so far uh using ents uh we've seen integer data types with with what we've used uh, just a little bit but we're going to go a little bit deeper into it and then i'm going to talk to you about this section of the book and we're going to be sort of skipping some of it for now uh so just really quickly though integer data types uh designed to hold whole numbers so non-decimal uh, and can be signed or unsigned. So like, you know, 12 minus six plus three, uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, and there are different sizes, meaning, uh, the number of bytes, uh, the number of storage that it will take. So what we're going to be using for, uh, right now will be just basic ends. So once you kind of get this down, uh, then we can play around with, uh, the amount of storage that it takes. In fact, we'll write some programs where you look at that and pull the addresses and, and all those kinds of things and look at them. Uh, but for now, we're just going to uh, stick with int. Uh, you know, you can use short int, long int, long, long int. Then when you throw in signed and unsigned, uh, if we use unsigned with these, it gives you more options. Uh, but we're just going to use int. Okay, so that little section in the in the book. In fact, I think uh, Gaddis even talks about how uh, we may not use these for a while. But anyway, you'll see. Uh, You'll see different things in there, but we're sticking with just basic ints. So, and we'll do some examples of those in a second. Um, signed versus unsigned just has to do uh, with the way that it's stored. Uh, if you declare a variable to be unsigned, it doesn't worry about plus or minus. You don't ever need a negative number, so you're good. Uh, but uh, it's with what we're doing. We'll just use standard ints. It will remain signed, and uh, we'll be we'll be good to go for, on that for a while. So um, you'll. You'll see. We may deal with this later on, but for now, we'll just kind of, kind of hold to the, keeping it to the basics. All right. Um, and let's take a look at, at how we've been doing these. Okay. So variables of the same name type can be defined in separate statements or in the same statement. So if you look at the way that these are done, so length and width, we have int length and then a semicolon. That's one complete statement. Then we have int width and a semicolon. That's a second complete statement. So they're, they're separate. Uh, both are defined. It, you know they're they're both great that's that's one way of doing it uh you can do it in the same statement and just to give you an idea uh doing it this way where we say int and then length and then comma and even though it drops down to the next line that's okay i could say width right here so you'll see some people like to do their variables this way where they'll say int and then they'll have you know five different variables and they do it this way so that each one of them kind of stands out a little bit and then other people just comma and just roll right across uh you know like this so int length comma width semicolon all on the same line. So there's just, uh, I mean, there's, there's just different ways of doing it. So right here you can see just sort of three ways of doing it. Um, this is, you know, similar as doing it this way, but it is, it does look different in your code. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see, I guess, like doing them. So I would say either way, uh, it's kind of up to you as to, to how you do it for now, we'll say. Uh, okay, so, and variables of different types have to be defined in separate statements. So I can't define a float the same way as um, you know, like a double, I can't define it the same in the same statement. So uh, when we get to that in a couple sections, you'll you'll see how that works too. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, let's see. Oh, and all these extra ones like the shorts, the longs here, you can see some unsigned. So like this one, unsigned, long, long, and it's an int, so they left it off there. Magnitude. We're not gonna we're not gonna be messing with these. There's just some examples that you saw in there. Ours will all look like this, int and then grades. Or it might say int grades equals and have a value, right? So um, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, the longs that we have in here, um, if we're going to do, or I'm sorry, if we're going to do literals in here, uh, you've got a capital L. We're going to skip this stuff for now. Uh, and as, especially you'll see later on when we're dealing with the... Uh, um, the octal and the hex, hex hexadecimal stuff, or base eight, base 10, um, where it looks like this, you had a zero at the beginning of this one, you had a zero X at the beginning of this, and then and then define your hexadecimal. So uh, when we're looking at uh, locations and those kinds of things, we'll talk about that more. Uh, for now, this stuff, uh, we're putting it on hold. So just later on, once you've got the basics down, we'll start looking more at this kind of stuff, all right? All right, so let's take a look at this. And I can't remember, I think we may have actually done this We've done this exact one in a video, but I can't remember uh, for sure. But anyway, if we have this, uh, so we have our int apples up here with a semicolon, and then we have apples equals 20 with a, with a semicolon. So we have two, uh, you know, unique statements here, right? So if you wanted to combine them into a single statement, 
uh, as you're looking at this, I guess, I guess I'll wait a second while you're thinking about it. Uh, uh, and uh, da, 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 da. okay, and maybe now. Of course, you can always pause the video, right, if you really want to do it. So anyway, I'll go ahead and throw it up there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so int apples equals 20, and semicolon there. So this is a complete statement that uh, is the same as these two statements here. So that's one way of doing it. All right. Uh, let's see. What about this one? So we have these. They're all ints. Uh, they're all, as you can see in here, they're all defined. So we're, we're good to go on these. We've, we're um, saying the x coordinate is equal to 2. Why is that? Right. So we've got this piece in here. If you want to put those in a single statement, one way of doing it would look like this. So same kind of a thing. Now I took out the spaces in here just so they'd all fit on one line. Uh, you do not have to put the spaces in, but you notice if you have a lot of code, right? If you have all sorts of different things in here, spacing does make a big difference. Um, this is easier to read, uh, like the y coordinate equals minus four. That's that's easier to read than this, in, in my mind. I don't know. I, I think it's easier. So if you're looking at a lot of different code and it maybe it isn't as big as like on this PowerPoint. Uh, so, you know, if you're trying to look at, at uh, you know, I don't know an 8 point font or 10 point font and you've got tons of code on there anyway so we'll we'll look more into uh you know laying your code out so it's easier to read and talk about spacing and stuff uh as we get into more more programs but anyway uh so that's this is one way of doing it you could also do it that other way that they showed uh where after the comma you bring this down and you say y coordinate equals minus four comma z coordinate equals six and then do our semicolon so similar to how we did this other one back where was it uh, 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 like this so same kind of thing so uh, you can mix it up if you'd like so da, 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 play with it I would say you know as you guys are, are doing these small programs that we're starting out try them a couple ways so you'll get to where you know do it this way maybe first and then and then mix it up and try doing some of them like this on another program uh, it's good practice for you to to uh, try different ways of doing it Okay, so for our uh, little programming challenge here, uh, this is uh, one of the ones, I, this might even be in the back of the book, uh, the sum of two numbers. So write a program that stores the integers 50 and 100 in variables, uh, so you have to come up with variable names, and stores the sum of these two, so you'll need another variable to store the, the sum uh, in a variable named total, okay, uh, and then display the total on the screen. All right, so if you were to start out, you might, oops, I'm a little bit out of the thing with my other comments. Sorry about that. I, this just says, above here, it just says Chapter 2, Programming Challenge 1, Sum of Two Numbers. Uh, and then it says, this program calculates the sum of two numbers, and this is how you would start. Okay, and then after that, you know, you'd have to get other things going. So I'm going to pause this and give you a chance to do this one. So take your time, see if you can get this done, and then come back in a few minutes. So go ahead and pause and try and code this one out. All right, so hopefully you had a chance to uh, get this going, and uh, hopefully the code is running for you. We'll take a look at this uh, to see how you did. All right, so here we go. Uh, so this is what the code basically looks like. We will, um, in fact, let's just go ahead and take a look at it. And uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this at pythontutor.com. Okay, here we go. All right, so here's our code, and uh, it's trying to roll in there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, there we go. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Beauty, make this a little bigger. Okay, so looking at, at the way that the code is in here, in fact, I'm going to go back over here so I can see a little bit better, uh, so you can see it with the colors and everything. All right, so we have our, you know, our standard pieces that we're doing here, uh, and then you notice for this particular one, I left these on three different lines so I could add comments to them. So I'm saying, hey, I'm going to, these are all ints, so int and then first num. You could also do num1, like the number one, uh, equals 50, I did int second num equals 100, uh, and then int total. So this will hold the sum. All right, and then I'm going to come down here. I commented this to show kind of what it's doing. So compute and display total. So now we have total equals uh, first num plus second num. And a semicolon, see at the end of there. So it's very important, your semicolons, don't forget them. Uh, and then my next line, now I have this this stored. Now this is this is the same thing, you know, you've got this this piece in here total. Now all of a sudden total is, is being given like a value. So there we go there. And then we have our C out. So we're saying, hey, the total of, and notice this is in quotes, I left a space here. Uh, first num uh, in between the extra set of, you know, 
uh, left side sides here, here. So we're splitting all these up. Then notice the spacing again, and and the the, the quotes in here for this string. Second num is, and then it finally it does total, and then end l at the end. And this is what it'll look like. So let's go ahead and run it real quick. And hopefully yours worked uh, as you're playing with it. If not, you know, kind of compare it to this and see if you can can see uh, what might have gone wrong. Okay, so let's go, boom, and then we're going to come down here, forward. Okay, so our first number, notice it's storing it. I love seeing all this stuff over here. It's just, I, this is just awesome. So, sorry, geek out a little bit, but it's pretty cool. All right, so anyway, so we're storing that one. Here's our here's our red arrow. This is going to be stored next. There's our 100 jumping in there. Here comes total, rolling from here, total into here, forward, and then our output. So the total of 50 and 100 is 150, and we're good to go. That's it, return zero. And things clear out. We're good to go. The program's over. That's it. Okay. So hopefully um, you did okay with that and uh, and got the right answer. So if not, kind of compare, troubleshoot, see if you can figure it out. Uh, remember, you've got this link here. So if you want to see kind of how it works and backpedal into what you've got, then then go for it.